very good morning to you so um, before i start with my introduction and uh, with my presentation that discuss something about the recent facts and uh, the recent attacks so uh, as you guys know that thousands of attacks has been uh, uh, made every year on uh, web applications or uh, any website like github the largest online repository the, which we use to uh, make our project centralized so uh, last year github was attacked by ddos denial uh, denial of service attack so uh, you can imagine that uh, uh, it how can it uh, make uh, impact on any company's uh, business and another take another example of ebay ebay uh, was uh, was a victim of cross site scripting where uh, what attackers uh, did they injected their script to the uh, home page of ebay so when you when uh, you launch the url of ebay uh, it will show you a fake or uh, uh, the false login page and if you enter your credentials there it will take you uh, the false home page or your credential will directly go to the attackers so uh, they have all the access of your uh, account facebook a facebook organize bug bounty program every year where uh, uh, they elect penetration tester or uh, uh, ethical hacker to uh, uh, find any vulnerability in their uh, application so uh, last year uh, in uh, such a bug bounty program uh, an uh, penetration tester named uh, orange desai has discovered a backdoor in uh, facebook server and the most interesting th thing is that that backdoor uh, will, uh, will uh, backdoor uh, has already placed by an another attacker and with the code which can exploit the uh, critical information uh, of facebook staff so this kind of attacks can make a big impact of any website uh, any website business so guys uh, i am sarvesh shivasto uh, i am from qnfatech noida uh, i have been working in testing domain especially in automation testing from last 2 years so you all must have uh, a brief idea about the security testing what are the security concerns and how we to perform security testing manually so i took the next step towards it and at qnfatech in last 10 months i have developed a framework and integrated it with our existing selenium framework which we are using for functional test scripts to amalgamate security testing with it do it in automated way actually so as we uh, already discussed that with increasing cyber threats and online attacks continuous security testing has become inevitable and making sure that all vulnerabilities are unleashed regularly is highly highly significant so the presentation has proposed a solution where automated security testing could be achieved in conjunction with functional testing carried out selenium api so i think uh, i should start my presentation with a disclaimer that i am not a security expert but a true believer that finding product vulnerabilities is also a responsibility of all associated qa teams because security is also a part of quality and i think it is more important to make security testing as a daily habit Uh, as we uh, we do regression testing regression functional testing so uh, let me take you through the agenda first of all uh, we will discuss then uh, that uh, why do we really need automated security testing then uh, we will discuss about the spectrum of some available tools uh, which is for automated security scanning and testing and from those tools which specific tool i am picking as a core component of this framework then the detailed architecture of this framework 
the framework coverage this uh, 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 this framework provides uh, what what coverage uh, and versus os top 10 list and then uh, i will let you uh, through a quick demo then analysis and reporting of this framework and at last overall message that if i am able to take on security testing with this framework being more expert you all can take it too uh, what is security testing in in very simple words we can say security testing is a process of finding vulnerabilities and loopholes in any web application which can cause an unauthenticated and unauthorized access uh, by outside attackers so uh, as we know uh, how digital things have gone cyber crimes continue to be on the rise and day and day we keep hearing about the stories uh, how uh, attackers uh, attack on uh, web applications so um, what is happening as of today even to conduct manual security testing we need security experts because it requires a lot of understanding of each and every security scenario like uh, what is uh, what is uh, uh, ethical hacking what kind of threats available and it is much more complex to even conduct security test manual security testing so um, i think most of us work on agile methodology where uh, we have continuous releases uh, after uh, the specific time period so it takes lots of effort cost and time to perform manual security testing uh, and no readily automated framework is available for uh, security testing so the question arises here how can we reduce this effort this cost time everything is it possible to automate this process yes but how we will go through uh, throughout the presentation so here are the tools which are available here are the uh, famous tools which are available in the market or say automated security scanning and security testing so uh, let me ask you one question uh, how many of you are familiar about uh, these uh, automated tool anyone worked you are you worked on uh, any of these burp suit i think burp suit is a uh, uh, yes not for scan Anyone else? Yes. Yes, yes. That is very good. Yes. This one. Say again. Oh, uh, is it paid or free? What? <laughs> okay. <coughs> so um, these are some famous tools: Metasploit. Kinetics, that Sparker, Retina. But the common thing about these tools are that these tools are paid, and the license cost is a very high for these tools. And also, they do not provide any API, so you cannot uh, 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 write a program or implement or integrate these tools in your uh, uh, framework or programs. But there is a tool. In, a, in the middle, OS Zap, Open Web Application Security Project Z Attack Proxy. So, uh, do you know? Uh, do you know uh, what is OS? Anyone hear about OS? So, what is it? It is. It is a community which always works for uh, concerns all over the web, security concerns. And uh, uh, OWASP uh, uh, provides a list of top ten vulnerabilities uh, every after three years. Last, uh, uh, I think, last vulnerability list uh, is the the uh, 2013, and we are expecting 2016 next list. So, why we uh, picked this OWASP Zeb? What is the reason? So, let's discuss about it. Z attack proxy Zap is a penetration testing tool for any web application, and it is uh, an open source. So 
uh, and free and uh, free uh, open source and free of cost so we can customize it according to our requirement and also it is cross platform so zap is available for linux uh, windows and mac as well and it is uh, very easy to use and install uh, uh, the only thing is it requires java 1.7 or higher and also zap uh, it provides a very good api for programming so you uh, so uh, uh, which allows you to interact with zap programmatically and it is easily integrates with selenium so what we did we uh, integrated zap with our existing selenium framework which you are using for which we are using for uh, functional testing so the same framework can perform functional testing and security testing as well with the help of functional test scripts here is the detailed architecture of this framework that how zap and uh, uh, selenium work together so here is selenium a browser and zap and the web application which is under test so uh, as we all know selenium can perform some actions on browser and uh, here we can see zap is working as a proxy between browser and the web application under test so it means every action which is performed on browser will definitely go uh, go through the zap before it will reach uh, on the server web applications server so uh, what we did we execute a selenium functional test script on browser and uh, zap will record and uh, uh, capture all the traffic which will made between browser and web application all the traffic all the http request response all the data so it will store and after this uh, this uh, after it is done it will thoroughly scan uh, the web application it will perform active scan and uh, passive scan uh, anyone know what is active scanning and what is passive scan in passive scanning uh, it will not modify and change any request it will just monitor just capture and then analysis uh, then i make analysis uh, for these all traffic request responses but in active scanning it can change and modify request response data so the the uh, the active scanning is uh, uh, more effective so uh, so uh, after uh, the scanning is done it will generate a detailed report about uh, each and every vulnerability in different kind of format like xml json and html i will show you uh, the detailed report later so uh, here uh, is a, a piece of code where uh, we can uh, where we can easily understand how selenium can interact with Step. So first of all, we need to bypass all of uh, uh, your web driver actions through a proxy on uh, uh, or on a port on which Zap is Zap is listening. So uh, at last, this is the final web driver which is ready to interact with Zap. So uh, Zap uh, will uh, Zap will uh, the all web driver actions first. Uh, go through the zap and uh, go through the zap before it will reach to the uh, application server by default zap works on 8080 port like you can see is in a port line but later we can uh, 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 reconfigure it uh, on any other port uh, as per our requirement so uh, here is the uh, framework coverage actually uh, this framework covers uh, uh, approx 80% of os top 10 list not all but approx 80% and these are not all uh, uh, this framework can cover uh, uh, another uh, uh, vulnerabilities which are not listed here but these uh, vulnerabilities are from uh, the os top 10 list like different kind of injections 
cross site scripting broken authentication and uh, session management insecure direct object references cross site request forgery security misconfiguration missing function level access control and invalid redirects and forwards you can uh, easily uh, go to the website of uh, ovasp and uh, you can find uh, the uh, find uh, how many uh, vulnerabilities uh, zap can cover actually so uh, let me take the azure uh, uh, demo uh for uh, the demo i am using this website demo dot testfire dot net actually uh, it is a, a demo website which is uh, available online for penetration testing and uh, security testing so uh, here is a warning uh, that please uh, do not uh, uh, try to attack or penetrate any website without permission because it is illegal uh, you can use uh, any website there are a uh, lots of website available uh, online so uh, 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 where you can practice uh, for the penetration testing, and also you can host your own website on local server and uh, try on it. So it is a demo online banking uh, uh, website. This is a login page. So I am starting my script here. So uh, scanning is started. A spider. actually a spider uh, uh, will uh, crawl into your application and it will collect all the url uh, all the urls uh, 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 all the urls uh, uh, selenium script will go through the urls and uh, that urls uh, it will collect and store after sc spider will uh, done the active scan uh, scanning uh, will take place so it will uh, take some time actually so uh, i have a report which i have already uh, yes yes how the spider will uh, uh, uncover the urls uh, uh, zap uh, will start scan scan con on uh, that url so it is a parallel process yes i will i will check it needs url so uh, you can manually explore the website uh, which is a very complex thing and actually uh, very time taking so that's why we integrated it with with our uh, functional testing so you need to do not need to anything and uh, as a selenium script will take care of this so here is the detailed report in html format so uh, as <clears throat> actually uh, this report is very easy to understand a uh, 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 non uh, security expert person uh, can easily understand the details which is uh, in this report like the <clears throat> description urls and also is provides uh, uh, the possible solution of the vulnerability like it says uh, in this application six high level vulnerabilities and 67 medium priority vulnerabilities and 183 low level uh, vulnerabilities <coughs> so uh, here is the description that what is cross site scripting you can read it out and it provides the url on which this vulnerability is found and the parameter is, uh, on what web element this vulnerability uh, uh, is found and what kind of attack it verified and also the evidence and also it provides the possible solution so you can easily read it out and understand all the things so let's check that uh, these vulnerabilities are really exist in, in the web application or not so <coughs> let's check the, the cross site scripting so it says on this url the cross site scripting exists so let me launch this web so 
yes tool is there So uh, this is the login page that we log in with with the uh, wrong credentials. So as my credentials are wrong, I am not able to uh, log into the application. So let me try with this cross-site script. Means uh, the cross-site script uh, scripting is uh, really exist in this application. So let's try with another vulnerability, uh, like SQL injection. So there are many SQL injections. Yes. So let me launch this web. Just provide. As I have uh, no login credential in this uh, web application, so let's try to log in with this application. Yes. So, so it means this uh, the code is correct. Uh, we can ignore uh, uh, low level priorities uh, if we want in uh, the report. Actually, this report is customized, so we can customize it and ignore. Say again. Yes. Copied uh, that SQL query from from the report. Yeah, this one. So it says on this URL by attacking uh, uh, by entering this uh, SQL query. So the, this report actually very easy to understand. I mean, you can read out it and uh, uh, easy, easily understand it. UID is a user ID, username uh, field. So, yes. Actually, the both fields are uh, uh, attackable. Like, see. Uh, all right. See, uh, parameter UID. Okay. And here, the parameter password. And we can attack uh, with the same query on both the fields. So both fields are attackable. So let's try this UID. Also, there is in this search field. This is also vulnerable for, I think, uh, cross site script. This is the search field, I think. Let's. It's parameter text search. In my 
my organization uh, i am working on uh, uh, i am working on a project so uh, i implemented this framework and uh, try to scan uh, that project and found this report it it don't uh, it don't has uh, it uh, doesn't have any uh, high priority vulnerability but it has uh, medium priority vulnerability and low uh, low priority vulnerability so uh, what it did i i uh, i um, went to my manager and uh, told him that uh, we can send uh, this report to our client on a daily basis that without any extra cost and effort so what we did we started uh, to uh, send the re these reports to uh, to the clients and uh, client client was happy that uh, he do not uh, he do, do not need to pay any extra cost for it so this is good I will. I will tell you this uh, in the limitation part. How 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 good? All these things uh, uh, will take care by the team. You can you uh, you need to uh, you need to make a special configuration for it. Actually, actually, you can uh, rely on this tool uh, because uh, uh, I, I don't know the uh, what uh, what was the uh, that survey. Actually, in a survey, this tool uh, uh, came first uh, place uh, uh, in 2015. 2014, uh, it was in second place. In 2013, it was uh, again in first place. So, OWASP is a very famous community engine, so we can rely on it. Not completely, but yes. So the analysis and reporting. So as we already uh, seen that uh, this framework can generate a detailed report uh, about all possible vulnerabilities in XML, HTML, and JSON format. And also you can pass the XML and JSON and customize these reports. Like uh, Adil, I mentioned that uh, you can ignore low priority vulnerabilities if you want, and low, uh, medium priority vulnerabilities. So it is totally customizable. Also, uh, graphical representation uh, is uh, also possible for uh, for the reports for easily interpretation, limitation, and feature scope. So uh, here is your answer. So uh, you need to install Zep uh, on the local machine on which you are uh, going to execute uh, these scripts. And Zep is uh, totally free, actually free of cost. So you go and you can install it uh, from OS website and uh, install it uh, in your local local system. So you need a special configuration for authentication. But in this case, you do not need to worry about it because Selenium script will take care of it. In Selenium script, uh, you uh, provide the credential for login and all the authentication or authorizing uh, authorization process you so you do not do not need to worry about it but if you are not using selenium script so you need uh, a special configuration for authentication and authorization process uh, uh, also i am working uh, to integrate uh, the zap and this framework for mobile apps as well so uh, this framework will be cap will uh, capable to perform security testing for mobile apps as well in future actually So here is the takeaways. Finally, uh, it is more important to make security testing as a habit or uh, uh, perform it on a daily basis rather than performing it uh, only after the release cycle. So it is more important. Important actually, we are using our existing fun uh, functional Selenium test scripts. So we do not uh, need to, uh, to do any extra effort or uh, any extra cost for it. 
it will uh, uh, run parallelly with the Selenium uh, functional test script. So it is good actually. And with syncing uh, with the DevOps, uh, we can integrate it with the uh, continuous integration tool like Jenkins uh, for uh, the automated triggering and scheduling of the scripts. And uh, open invitation to all team to try this tool. And uh, the finally overall message that if I am able to take on circuit testing uh, with this tool, uh, being more expert, so you certainly you all can take it too. Actually, uh, this API is available for Java and Python and Ruby as well. C sharp. But uh, uh, I, I I have used Jar only because I am working with Jar. can just give you an idea about it. So you can uh, 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 explore these things uh, by yourself. Uh, say again. The burp shoot uh, is uh, not a vulnerability scanner. It will just uh, interpret your request. So uh, you can change request and send to the server. And what response comes to the server, you can uh, make change and uh, uh, send back to the browser. But it, it will not scan uh, uh, for the vulnerabilities like SQL ingestion, cross site script. It is not a scanner actually. For scanning or just uh, monitoring network traffic, this is scanning. So uh, actually, I, I don't have about uh, I I don't have idea about this tool. Is it paid or free? Open source. That's the difference.
I think it is possible. Oh, next book. Memory, memory leakage, memory leakage, memory leakage. Definitely, it will impact uh, on a total execution time. Uh, it depends on the size of web application. So, uh, it uh, the size of application is a bit uh, heavier. So, it will take extra. Yes. So, obviously, it will take uh, some extra time. Later uh, or uh, uh, wait for some time. So actually, it will uh, we we configured uh, uh, these reports. So uh, it will uh, mail you these reports on your email. Yes, Zep uh, uh, try to inject different different uh, uh, SQL injections. Yes, the brute force attack.
person. Yes, then uh, you can find uh, the link here. 